Over the weekend in State College, an estimated crowd of 3,000 people from across the country gathered for an indoor wrestling tournament concerning people in the community. That's right, Irvin Hankley is following this story. He joins us live outside the C3 Sports Complex in College Township, where the tournament happened. So, Evan, we understand College Township tried to cancel this tournament, but they were unsuccessful. Yes, that's right, Matt and Amanda. The only folks who have the authority to cancel or stop the tournament with an injunction are the governor, Governor Tom Wolf, or the Secretary of Health. But neither of them did that this past Friday. Now, take a look here. These are pictures that we've obtained from the tournament over the weekend. We're told it had wrestlers from 12 different states participating, including those from California and Florida. The township says the folks organizing the tournament didn't seem to care much about the 250 person crowd size restriction in Pennsylvania and that the governor's office offered to have state police monitor the situation but would not put an end to the event. College Township says C3 violated a gathering ordinance though and that the venue and event organizers totaling around 30 people will receive fines totaling more than $10,000. That is extremely disturbing. I think that under the circumstances which we find ourselves at the moment here in Center County, in terms of coping with a return of students, trying to continue to retain our local students in our local schools, uh, this is a most unfortunate event. And College Township is holding a special meeting tonight at 5.30, so within the next half hour here, where they will discuss putting in place more stricter, higher penalties of fines specifically for businesses and other organizations that do not follow the township's masking and social distancing ordinance. We'll have more on this story coming up tonight on WTAJ News at 6. But for now, reporting live here in College Township, Center County, Evan Hinckley, WTAJ News.